I am the runner. The, I run this channel. I run this channel. It's Lisa with Luna Moth Creations, and I'm immediately back because we got a box. <laughs> I'm hoping, actually, I don't know if I can fit it in today, but um, I think I'm getting a couple more today because I've added like I've added one, two, three. Well, one of them doesn't come till September, but I added like um, one, two, three, four, five, six, like six different boxes. Well, because one of the, one company stopped making boxes, so that, like, lost me two boxes. And so I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna get some more. Plus, I want you guys to see a variety, and I love to get stuff. Don't we all like to get stuff? Okay, well, I'm trying to get this out of this box. I'm trying to get the box out of the box. Hello and welcome. My name is Lisa. I am the runner. The, I run this channel. I run this channel. <laughs> and owner and operator of Lunamoth Creations Co. on Etsy. It is my witchy store. I have a bazillion stores all linked below. Today we are doing the Witch's Moon because on my channel I like to do witchy subscription unboxings. I also do one self-care subscription box, as well as tarot and oracle unboxings and reviews because I'm a tarot reader, y'all. Okay, let's get it. The Witch's Moon. This is August 2021. Um, I feel like I accidentally saw a couple things when I was on YouTube. I really try not to watch because I really want, like, natural reactions, you know, because I have those. Ooh, I don't know what the box is about, but this Oracle card. Look how pretty that is. Soul Star Chakra. Ooh. So the Witch's Roots box was about, um, oh, white tea was the, um, was the herb. If you guys didn't watch it, it also had to do with some chakras and alignment and stuff like that. Um, so I'm hoping this is also connected to chakras. That means we get more that. Okay. Um, soul star chakra, which is like above the crown, merging with the divine. This image captures the merging of time beyond space and kaleidoscope wisdom. I got smoke coming from my incense that penetrates our being. We have lived in many worlds, all interconnected. They uphold the lessons they carry as messages of transformation. Their synergy creates the expansion of the universe. Gaze into the place where the light between our stardust can become anything. And collective evolution is part of a grander story. When we simply let go, we become all that we have been seeking and glimpse the greater dream. Meditate on the idea that everything that ever was and ever will be is happening simultaneously right now across multiple dimensions. For real, y'all. Okay. Anyways, gorgeous artwork. We'll have to find out what this came from so what I like to do with these sometimes I um I do put them as like altar decoration depending on what they are I've got a couple like on shelves that are just displayed because they're beautiful um but a lot of times I use these as bookmarks and listen um I know I get a lot of these but I'm reading a lot of books at the same time because I'm an ADD I probably have 10 books that have bookmarks that I'm right now but I'm really close to finishing a book. Can I get some applause? Can I get an add a girl way to go? <laughs> because I'm finishing a book. I'm close. I'm close. All right. And speaking of books, I need to give a shout out to one of my friends and coven members, Aiden Brooks. That is A E D Y N Brooks, B R O O K S. There's a bug. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Aiden is a writer and she writes, apparently I have, I have the books. I have not read them yet. I just got them from Amazon. Some sexy, like mystical, um, books. So dead wrecking, dead 
Reckoning is I believe the name of the series. Let me let me pull this up, y'all, so I'm not lying to you. Um, because I just bought these the other day to support my girl, and she's gonna be my partner today. We're hosting um a study group for our coven for the maiden circle. Yes, dead. No, 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 I'm sorry. Dead Reckoning is, I think, the second book in the series. The series is called Grave Intentions. The first book is Ready or Not. Um, let me pull this up. Let's, let's get the first book so you guys can see. So there is the cover of the first book. So if you guys are interested in that kind of thing, um, I'd love to help out my girl. Okay. All right. Whoa. There's something huge in here. We're going to get there in just a minute. All right. So we have the stone guide. Okay. I don't want to read anything. Okay. It says, we find ourselves completely involved in our desire to understand, relate to, and honor all the gifts of the earth. Within these natural artifacts, we find assistance in all matters of life, from needing assurance, to yearning for healing and peace, to amplifying our ability to draw prosperity and abundance into our reality. We rely on the treasures buried beneath us within the sacred soil. In this extremely exclusive woo, and one-of-a-kind collection, we, prefer, we provide further knowledge for you to incorporate into your practice. The magical items in this box are as follows. Okay, okay. First things first, I'm a realist. Okay, Devil's Nettle is our one of our herbs. And I just don't want to... I don't want I don't want to know what things are devil's nettle an herb of maven which is coming up the autumnal equinox um, which is like September 21st God, I can't believe that summer's almost over yarrow oh the other word for it, it's yarrow yarrow brings a refreshing energy into our practices and rituals a strong attraction agent this wonderful herb has the ability to bring friends and loved ones near to you during times of unrest and uncertainty. Place Yarrow among your Maven altar to represent love and longevity during your celebrations. Elemental association is water, planetary association is Venus, and gender feminine. And then we have chamomile. Very nice. Chamomile herb. Chamomile has always been stocked within our mat. Or blah, blah, blah. Are herbal cabinets and is often used in a variety of brews and blends. No, known to be one of the most calming and relaxing herbs, chamomile has the distinct ability to bring us in line with peaceful and restful energies. Place among your maven altar or incorporate into your ritual blends to bring a sense of fluidity and uh, easiness. Elemental association is water, planetary is sun, gender is masculine. And then we have some rose what does it say rose rose haw okay or rose hips okay so I thought it said rose haw so they're like these red like hair berries and such okay where to go originally the feud the free <laughs> my god I'm having so many problems reading. Origi it's You know why? It's because my brain and my mouth are completely um, separate from each other. <laughs> Originally, the fruit of the rose bush. Rose hips are the red seed pods you may find scattered about your garden. Rose hips are commonly added to witches' bottles and mojo bags to bring cleansing and clarity into your energetic properties. These rose hips can also be strung into a necklace to draw love into your space. This can be both spiritual and literal. Scatter these small seeds pods throughout your home before your maven celebration to bring about peace and harmony. Elemental association water, planetary is Venus and the moon. Okay, and the, the thing that I said was like, there's something big in here. Just ready for this? This is a big ass smokestick. It looks like rosemary. 
I could be making that the fuck up. I don't know. Mmm. Okay. Extra, <laughs> extra large rosemary sage bundle. I got it right. Although every time I see like, like thin needle um, type herbs, I'm always like, it's gotta be rosemary because that's my grandma's name. Okay. To assist you in preparing for any maiden celebrations or rituals, we've included a rosemary sage bundle. A very prominent herb in the craft, rosemary carries with it a long list of beneficial effects and uses. Native to the Mediterranean, the beautiful rosemary bush can reach up to five feet tall. Used around the world as a sacred ingredient, rosemary has built a reputation to be respected. Burn the rosemary sage bundle to bring protection and clarity into your space. This ritual is not only for pre-ritual use, or maybe they're saying this bundle, probably they meant this bundle, is not only for pre-ritual use, but can be done throughout your day when you feel called to do so. Oh, maybe they do mean ritual. Okay, whatever. Um, it, <laughs> this is big. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop before I start talking dirty. All right. <laughs> We have Maven Blend Ritual Herbal Tea. Ugh. Okay. The Maven Blend Ritual Herbal Tea with Muslin Bag. I guess there's a muslin bag in there. Also considered a citrus chamomile herbal tisane. Tisane. This wonderful blend includes chamomile, orange peel, and hibiscus flower. As you sit to study, contemplate, or ponder, Allow this wonderfully soothing and charming herbal tea blend to settle you into a state of relaxation. Take this time to review the blessings you have received over the past months, allowing yourself to feel guidance at its fullest. Very nice. Okay, what's next? What's next? I'm assuming that we have a crystal in here. Oh my gosh. Be smarter than the tape. Okay. Ooh, some black kyanite. Very nice. All right. I'm lying to you, it's tourmaline. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> kyanite is not as uniform. It's still kind of a long, like, striated, um, crystal but tourmaline to me is it looks more uniform in its formation so yes it also looks like there's maybe some pyrite on it can you guys see the okay black tourmaline stone as stated within the encyclopedia of crystal gem and metal magic usually too brittle for jewelry black tourmaline is seldom commercially available it is used for grounding purposes and to represent the earth in spells relating to that element. It is also protective for it absorbs negativity when charged for that purpose via visualization. Meditate with this black tourmaline when you are feeling overwhelmed with negative thoughts or energies. This stone will release any self-doubt that you may have regarding the future. Energy is receptive, planet Saturn, and element of earth. Very nice. It's a big chunk too. Look at that. Here, let me, let me try to beautiful place that right there on my charging plate with some of my other babies. All right. I'm like spitting on myself. I'm like salivating. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm also starving. I've got my bagel over there, but nobody wants to sit and watch me eat a bagel. All right. So then we have our Maven ritual oil. Let's smell it. Hmm, what am I smelling? Was there orange in there? Whatever it is, it's right up my nose now. Maven Magical Anointing Oil. This celebratory Maven Magical Anointing Oil has been created with the intention of soothing your nerves and instilling a sense of protection and stability. During this time of Thanksgiving and introspection, 
We focus on calming our minds and stepping into the current moment. Use this oil to anoint your skin, altar, or ritual tools intended to celebrate Maven. We have enchanted this magical anointing oil with sweet orange, that's what I smelled, cedarwood and chamomile oils, and have included the herbs of chamomile, rosemary, calendula as well. Inside your oil, you'll find a Lemurian quartz said to personify oneness within your aura. We've also included a special mixture of our soothing sight magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the making of this oil. Super. All right, now we got some artworks, which usually the art is on top. Um, the Harvest Home. So it looks like a bit of an invocation. We will put it right here so you guys can pause if you'd like to read it. And let's see what that says. Harvest Home Sabbath Blessing Artwork. To accompany the Harvest Home spe Spell Candle. Okay, I guess we're getting a spell candle. We have included our Maven Sabbath Blessings Artwork for you to display on your altar or use during rituals during this very sacred time of year. A spell of celebration and inner peace, the Harvest Home Sabbath Blessing was created with pure and thoughtful intentions. Written by G. Ibis, illustrated by A. E. Alden two of my favorite people because they do such great work. Okay, and then we have artwork for our black tourmaline. Wonderful, wonderful. I love the artwork so much. Black tourmaline book of shadows. Another great resource for information on black tourmaline. This one of a kind book of shadows artwork was created specifically for this collection. Keep this print within your Book of Shadows for reference or display uh, in your sacred space. Written and illustrated by A.E. Elton. All right, and here's that long lost muslin bag that came with our tea. All right, let's see. We've got the Dark Welcoming Sacred Salt. Ooh, that looks nice. I took a lovely bath the other day. It was great and amazing, and I used some of my salts from the witch's moon. All right. Uh, hmm. I like skim over these because I don't want to read things that I haven't gotten yet, so <laughs> sometimes it takes me a minute. Okay, the dark welcoming celebratory sacred salt. We have created this sacred salt blend in celebration of Maven, marking the beginning of our journey into the dark half of the year. As you sink into the beautiful aromas of the sacred salt, take the time to review all of your goals that you have accomplished this year so far. In addition, allow your psyche to wander into the future months where we can connect to our guides and ancestors on deeper levels. This sacred salt was created to place you into a pondering state of mind. Allow your inner chatter to slowly stop cluttering your emotions. Allow the earth's bounty to comfort and nourish your soul. We have enchanted this sacred salt with clove, rose, and chamomile oils, as well as lavender, rose, and rosemary. We have also included a special mixture of our Equinox magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Right. Next is Olibanum. Olibanum incense. Okay, Ol Olibanum ritual incense sticks. Oh, they smell good. As you allow the smoke from this ritual incense to wave throughout your sacred space, allow its grounding and calming energy to wash through you. Spend these moments without distractions, surrounded by your intentional thoughts. All right, well, I don't know what it consists of because they didn't tell me, but it smells good. No, very good. All right, we've got more artwork. Yay! Okay. Um, it says silver. Are we getting something that's silver? Okay. Beautiful. Yay. I freaking love getting artwork from them. Silver Book of Shadows artwork, also included within this collection. You will find the Silver Book of Shadows artwork. Excuse me. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard me do that before? So those are my meeps. <laughs> it's kind of a hiccup, like it's a random, I, 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 
I do it all the time and I've done it for as long as I could remember, but I feel like I've never done it on camera before. So there you go. You guys have been introduced to my meeps. All right. This wonderful metal of patience provides us with the ability to capture the essence of time and use it to make positive changes in our li in our lives. Written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. Then we have Gold Book of Shadows. Gorgeous! Oh, they're so pretty. Do so you think we have some gold in the box? Can I get some gold? Can I get some gold up in here? Okay. Gold Book of Shadows artwork. In addition to Black Tourmaline, We've included a gold book of shadows artwork for you to include in your collection of references. One of the most highly regarded metals, gold carries the ability to strengthen your confidence and bring prosperity and abundance into reality. Written and illustrated by A.E. Eldon. All right, now we've got a candle. That hand rolled harvest home spell candle. It is like a yellowy orange. Like a, actually, it's a bright yellow. It's like sun colored yellow. I can't tell if it smells like something or if it's just because the box smells so good. Okay, we have hand rolled this Harvest Home spell candle with the intention of celebrating and honoring the Maven Sabbath. I mean, one of these days I need to just leave the wrapping paper on it and write what candle it is because I'll unwrap it and then later I'm like, what candle is that? Okay. I lost my spot. Okay. A time of true celebration, we focus on all that we have accomplished over the beginning of the year as well as preparing to accept the dark half of the year, with the God making his symbolic death in the coming Samhain. As you allow, I can't wait for Samhain, okay. As you allow the flame to dance, recite your own writings, or simply use the Harvest Home Sabbath blessing included within this collection. We've included the oils of cinnamon, clove, frankincense, and myrrh into the rolling of this spell candle. Wonderful. Sometimes I keep the items together in a box that go together for a while until I use them. That way I can remember what's what. Um, so I might have to do that for this because um, I think on Maven I'm gonna I'm gonna use utilize all these things together. Okay, I think there may be only one thing left, and it's huge and it looks amazing, and I'm so excited! Oh my god. We were just talking about books. Oh my gosh. First off, we have a huge sachet. A very large black sachet that you can, <laughs> I don't know, put a small baby in. If you guys want to carry your children. There you go. <laughs> what would you put in this? Let me put it over here in my, <laughs> I have like a, uh, a drawer that I put all my um, sachets in. So I have the Scott Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Crystal Gem and Metal Magic. Holy freaking shit. It's a hardcover. It's super freaking gorgeous. Let's read about it and then we're gonna look on the inside of it. Okay, exclusive. Hardcover Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Crystal Gem and Metal Magic Book. And you guys know I love crystals. If I could ever get my life on track and have more time to do all the things that I want to do, because I started a crystal healers course with um, the Love and Light School, Ashley Levy. Um, if you're not familiar with her, great resource on crystals. Um, and my AD took over. <laughs> And I moved on to something else, which was an astrology course. And then my ADD took over and I moved on to another tarot course, which I finished. But at least all these things are uh, recorded and I can go back and I can get my certifications. So eventually I will be a crystal healer. Certified crystal healer. Okay. We are beyond thrilled to have the opportunity to include this exclusive book by Scott Cunningham. 
never before offered in hardcover with gilded pages. This book portrays a custom design in the front as well as holds a silver page marking ribbon. ribbon. In addition, when opening the cover to the first page, you'll find a small note from the Witch's Moon. I'm so excited. Scott Cunningham is the author of more than 50 books. Like seriously, if you guys are new to witchcraft or I don't know, Scott Cunningham, get his books, y'all. Get his books. I own a bunch. Okay. Uh, author of more than 50 books, both fiction and nonfiction. He was a friend of notable occultists and Wiccans such as Raymond Buckland and was a member of the Serpent Stone family, receiving his third degree initiation as a member of the Coven. And then there's a quote, practice an ancient magic that is both natural and powerful. The element earth, magic of stone, excuse me, rocks, stone, and metal. This comprehensive and clear guidebook by Scott Cun Cunningham has introduced the secrets of over 100 gems and metals. Learn how to find and cleanse stones and use them in divinations, spells, and tarot readings. Discover how to determine the energies and stories contained within each stone and the symbolic meanings of a stone's color or shape. Also included in this classic guide are a 16-page full-color insert, birthstone and jewelry magic lore, and tables listing both planetary and elementary 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 <laughs> rulers of stones magical intentions and magical substitutions this encyclopedia is truly a foundation for crystal gem and metal knowledge as you browse through the, each description take the time to resonate with the information that calls to you most you will find that there are messages that are meant for you during this time become inspired by the beauty and energy of the stones outlined within this collection, rely on the remarkable strength and guidance that may be waiting to be discovered in your crystal and gem collection. May the spirits of stones bring the comfort and companionship, the witch's moon. Oh my God. Okay, so that's what it says on the inside. May the spirits of stones bring you comfort and companionship, blessed be the witch's moon. Can you see it? Okay. I wonder when this was published. Is this like a brand new book? <gasps> I'm, it's so kind of confusing. What? Okay. Because he died in um, 1993. Okay, so it looks like it was written in maybe 90, uh, 1988, and the Cunningham estate apparently did some things with it in 2002, so okay. Very nice. I'm just going to just, okay, so there's no pictures, it doesn't look like. There's my bookmark. Oh shit, it totally just ripped my page. Anyways, so we have our bookmark, which will go in the beginning. <laughs> um, cool, so there's a section on stone divinations. Oh, ooh, okay. A stone tarot. There's like associations with tarot, and then there's a section on st on the stones. Very nice, and it's gilded with silver. Oh my god! So awesome! I'm so excited to use this reference in my practice because I like to. Um, I wonder if it's broken down at all. Um, when I construct a spell, I like to um, look for, you know, so whatever my intention is, I like to look for associations with that intention. So if I'm trying to, you know, call in prosperity, I'm going to look up what um, crystals work for prosperity, what herbs work um, with that, etc. Et <laughs> Sorry, inside joke on the etc. So anyways, yay guys, so excited. This obviously is my favorite item from this box. What do you guys 
think it's so freaking amazing yay i love the witch's moon so i think that is it guys if you um wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up it really helps out my channel i would love if you'd leave me a comment what you think of this box if there is another box that you would like for me to start doing for y'all my um my camera decided to turn off because it doesn't like when i do this for too long um anyways so if there is another box that you would like um me to start unboxing for you leave that in comments below um, also, anything that you would like me to start including on my channel. I'm wanting to grow my channel. I am wanting to add things that are um, of value to you all because you're the ones that um, watch me and support my channel and I appreciate y'all. So again, if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. If you're already, already a subscriber, thank you so much. And again, tell your friends because once I reach 500 subscribers, I'm doing another giveaway. So some of this may be included in that giveaway. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day. Bye.